guest is a legendary performer. He sold more than 200 million records and continues to add to that total with a new album called Still the Same, Great Rock Classics of Our Time. Not only that, he may very well have the greatest hair in music history. Please welcome the one and only Rod Stewart. <laughs> I'm doing well. How is it possible that you look exactly the same as you looked when I was in junior high school? Plenty of sex, plenty of wine. Is that right? <laughs> no, I just, I just, uh, you know, I've just been lucky, you know. I, I think the greatest attribute is I don't smoke. I think smoking ages you quicker than anything. Really? And I don't look too good at 7 o'clock in the morning, I tell you. You must I look grim. You must have a deal with the devil or something. There's got to be something because <laughs> everything has worked out so beautifully. You have a uh, you have a one-year-old baby now, I understand? Yeah, he's one uh, in next month. One-year-old boy? You, um, you're getting married soon, I hear? Yeah, next year. This time to a model? Yeah, well, she used to be a model, but she's a <laughs> photographer now, just by way of a check. Uh -huh, I gotcha. All right. And so everything's great. And you're about to go on the road again. Mm. Not only you're doing a world tour, and not just one of these uh, little world tours. You're doing 65 cities in the United States. Yeah, we don't piss about, mate. We want no, a tour. I... We tour. <laughs> Either you must love touring I or do. hate changing diapers, or maybe both. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I, I'm, I'm not a bad diaper changer. Uh -huh. I love touring. You know, I don't like recording. That's probably common knowledge, but I, I like to get out and see people and make them smile and send them home happy. Well, that's great that you love doing it. There's a lot of people wind up, they, uh, certainly you don't have to do it, a lot of people wind up just doing it because they have to, and you can tell, you oh, can really, you can, you can feel it yeah. when, when yeah. they're on stage. No, I live for it, I really do. And, uh, you know, the, the baby comes with me and my fiance, well, she'll be my wife. No, she won't. Next summer, uh -huh. we're getting married. They gave the secret away there, didn't I? <laughs> I guess so. But we, all, we all come out, and all the kids, I've got five other kids, and they all come out one at a time, see their old dad. Really? So you? So it's nothing like it used to be back, like in the early 70s when you were on tour, there yeah. were no kids anywhere around. How do you know? <laughs> I'm little, just... I'm little just... do you know. <laughs> no, no, no. There, I'm there taking wasn't. a leap of faith and guessing there. No, there wasn't. No, there of wasn't. All the, in all the years, who... Of all the musicians you've worked with and, and hung around, who was the most fun to hang around with and to, to go on the road uh, with? Well, I, I loved being in the Faces, you know, mm -hmm. that was a group in the... <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think he's the, he's the only one who's heard of them. Because we were, we were a big serious drinking band, it's a wonder that we're all, we're all still alive, you know. It's, we, our livers should have been shot. Um, but, you know, Ronnie Wood, who plays with the Stones now, he used to be... Yeah. You guys made some great, great music back then. We did. Really. We did. It was... And you must have had so much fun. We were always drunk. Like, people ask me about the 70s. I can't remember a bloody thing. Is that right? Oh, For real? <laughs> That's a shame. That really is. It seems what about like... your 70s? How old were my, you in the 70s? My se well, I was born in 67, so I remember pretty much all of it. Yeah. Your parents. <laughs> I mean, for me, for you, you're on the road with, you know, the, the groupies and all that stuff. I had, like, eight Playboys stashed under my bed. That was uh, the closest that I got to I it. had the groupies and the Playboys. You did, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you, you have had some, some life. Do you ever think about that, about how unbelievably, I guess, I mean, maybe just lucky. looking on the outside, lucky you have been, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I've had a, an amazingly blessed life. I really have, just not with the... You know, the music and the success and just with having six great kids, you know, I've had three wives, this will be the third, and they've all been great, you know. Your daughter, so Kimberly, no complaints. hangs around with Paris Hilton, which seems troubling, um, at least it would be to me if I was her father. No, there's, well, I have to stick up with Paris because I've known her since she was 14. She's been friends with Kimberly, so even younger. And I always find her well-mannered, well-behaved, uh -huh. around me she is. I mean, I don't know what she's like. Yeah. She covered one of your songs. She covered Do You Think I'm Sexy on her album. Have you heard her cover of that song? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but, you know, that wasn't one of my favorite songs anyway. Just in general, it wasn't. It's a piece of <laughs> but people love it. I mean, it's... They do love it, and, uh, you know, I, I force myself to play it every night. And it just makes people happy, and that's, yeah. that's what I'm here for. You I want to make people happy, too. We found this dog, and um, this dog also does a song. 
And I don't know if you're aware of this, but, um... Hold on, let me get... It's, he moved in rehearsal today. Oh, there he goes. You could take... You know what? Maybe instead of singing this, if you don't right. like the song, you could take this dog on the road with you and you, you let him sing the Not whole thing. Not with that chin. It looks like Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to say that. He told me to say it. He's got... Actually, I think he has Guillermo's mustache on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, you're welcome to this. This is yours oh, to I'll keep it if you to, like. Yeah, uh, enjoy. Take it. Yeah, take I'll it. I'll take to England tomorrow yes, for my son. Oh, yeah. you heard. Yeah. yeah, your son will love it. We love it. So you got this new album, and on it you recorded some songs from, uh, are they all from the 70s, these songs? Two of them. I think the Chrissy Hyde one and Missing You uh, from John Waits was one was in the 80s. Oh, they 80s? Yeah, yeah, right, that's yeah. right. You got um, some Creedence song. You got a Creedence song on here. Yeah. You got uh, yeah, the Pretenders or a Chrissy Hyde song. Yeah. Um, it, you, uh, who else Who else did you cover on this album? There's a Bob Seger song. There's a Bonnie Tyler, Bread. Oh, these are all songs I've been dying to sing for so long, you know, and never had the guts to do them. How does it work? Do you call these guys and do you say, hey, no. I'm going to do your song, or you just no, no, do no. it? No, no, no. Everybody thinks I have to call up Bob, so you go, Bob, all right, I'll do your song, mate. No, you, have to, you don't have to do that. You just record it and... You just do it. ...hope he likes it. Yeah, and have you heard... <laughs> <laughs> have you heard from any of these folks? No, it's, a, it's only been out a couple of days. Oh, they got to be delighted, though, I hope because... so, yeah. Yeah, I would... Uh, well, sure. Well, first of all, it's an honor to have you doing the song. Secondly, they're going to make some serious cash off oh, this hopefully deal, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe even more than you made off of that dog. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to buy myself a nice pair of trousers. Yeah, yeah. you see, you got holes all over it. Yeah. If, my, if my dad knew I paid three hundred dollars for a pair of jeans with holes in him, he'd kick me in the face. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> he doesn't dad, know. My dad's that. on the roof now. <laughs> well, we're going to hear some music from you tonight. We're going to hear a couple right. of songs actually. Yep. Yeah. The album is called Still the Same, Great Classics of Our Time. We'll be right back with music from Rod Stewart. Come on back.